It says record in the <laughs> viewfinder. I guess that's technology, and that makes it so you know. That it's <laughs> yeah, I was just looking. I was just looking for the red light. Yeah, there's one for the outtakes. All right, All right. When you uh, welcome to the uh, single track lunchroom, and uh, we have some honoured guests here who've uh, brought bribes. So we've got uh, Elmar and Marty from uh, SRAM come to see us uh, from the European office. And Ian's hiding out the way. <laughs> and uh, they've come to show us uh, what's uh, going to be new from SRAM next year, or at the end of this year. Over to Elmar. So, yeah, um, basically, what we brought today is uh, first of all the new X9 external drivetrain components. So, um, to start this and make it pretty short, we have new X9 trigger shifters. Um, and you can you can tell from uh, just looking at them that they are looking pretty similar to the current XO triggers and basically they share a lot of uh, the technology features that XO already uh, had so you can see we have a two position um, handlebar clamp we have the removable cover which on the X9 is made out of a composite um, instead of carbon on the XO. We have an unadjustable pull lever um, but on the inside it features all the same technology. It has zero loss travel technology, um, it has four bushings instead of ball bearings in the XO but still gives a very um, very uh, good and direct feel for the shifting performance. And um, yeah, basically they are compared to last year's models, pretty much upgraded. The X9 rear derailleur basically features a lot of technology that we also uh, took from the XO. As you can see, we we don't have a carbon cage, but we also offer three different carbon, uh, three different cage length, from short over medium to the long cage version so it definitely suits every type of riding you want to do um, we share a lot of um, technology features with XO <laughs> who's that? <laughs> <laughs> that'll be Shimano yeah. <laughs> they'll probably come to, to, to watch us right now right? so um, this part of the rear derailleur, rear derailleur, which we call the B-knuckle, is now made out of uh, forged aluminum compared to last year's model, which was uh, out of cast aluminum. So it's way stronger and stiffer and um, you have the same uh, parallelogram uh, setup as on the XO. So very nice features on the X9 and uh, also um, highly upgraded. The next product I want to show you is uh, the new Avid Juicy Ultimate Cross Country Brake, which features uh, a lightweight um, carbon brake lever, a magnesium lever body, split clamp. It also features your pad contact adjust as uh, on the other Juicy's, Juicy Carbon and Juicy 7 so far and new for, for um, Avid Brakes is a mono piece uh, caliper. The caliper is mounted to our hardware by tie bolts and it has uh, a stainless banjo, um, banjo bolt so it's a very lightweight construction and uh, I just just got the news that this banjo bolt is aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> so this is a very light setup and um, it's compatible with uh, 140 and 160 rotors on the lightest setup for cross-country bikes. 
It also is available on uh, with 160 rotors and 185. In the front. Uh, on the front. One nice feature is uh, to adjust the pad contact, you can use your uh, rebound adjuster from your RockShox fork. Mm -hmm. Just need to pull it out, stick it in here, and you have a quick adjust of your, um, of your pad contact. Another new item that uh, perfectly fits the X9 or XO triggers and all uh, the Avid disc brakes that uh, come with a split clamp, clamp lever is a piece that we call Matchmaker. Matchmaker is uh, basically some something that where you can uh, connect the brake lever and your trigger shifter to have more clearance on the handlebar uh, but still remain all the um, options to adjust the angles from uh, brake lever to the, the trigger. It's a very nice and clean setup for your handlebars so you have enough room for your um, whatever you want to clamp on your handlebar besides brakes and uh, shifters. So uh, pop locks for example for your forks or uh, your Garmin or even your cell phone if you want to put it on there. So that's it for the brakes and um, the last thing I want to show you guys is uh, first of all I need to stick that little plug back in. This, our new dirt jump fork, it's the Argyle and um, it's a 100 millimeter travel fork that is basically made for dirt jumping and street riding. So this is a fork that can really take it. You see it has chromoly stencher tubes. It comes with a similar casting to our existing pike fork but it's a little bit beefed up in uh, certain areas so it's uh, definitely stronger than the existing pike. It comes with motion control damping with a harder setup, harder compression damping setup than regular motion control forks and it's available in different uh, spring versions. You have coil spring or the solo air air sprung versions. It's uh, definitely a very nice and very strong fork, easy to set up and uh, yeah, the best thing about it, I guess you can see it, is the color. The name of the <laughs> color is Punishment. <laughs> we also have a white, white version, which is called Punish White, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Thanks for listening. Right, okay. Indeed.